Hello everyone and welcome back to the stream. How have you guys been doing? I really hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and of course a wonderful Monday. Well, uh, yes, as, uh, as far as I know we are ending uh, Act 2. So without further ado, let's get back into it. Just one little detail, so let me turn my light on because I know there is enough light, but soon the sun is gonna appear down, so yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know I should close the window and then, I mean the curtains, whatever. Don't think about that. Yep, here we go. We just talked to Nomos. Before I go to the throne, let me see, let me look around. Anyone interesting here? No, not really. Oh, what's that? Now, uh -huh. oh, maybe, yeah, we have something. Okay. Sarbeck. <clears throat> My congratulations, my congratulations, your ladyship. May the Omnissiah grant you understanding. Oh, this is Gepark, okay. Nah. <coughs> Apologies. I was looking, but the design is not that interesting. Okay, observe the guests, first and foremost. Okay. Tell me first on this, okay? The corruption of Kiyavagama, of, Kiyavagama, of Kiyavagama was a great blow to my family. The contemptible Cubist Delphim uh, betrayed our trust, desecrated the forge cath cathedrals, uh, and took my esteemed cousin's life. On behalf of my family, I humbly beg uh, you to forgive our negligence. I am ready to accept any punishment. Mm hmm Okay. There's Pascal over there. I don't see him. I oh, know Pascal is over the, that way. Weird, okay. I see your interest in, uh, in my companion, Pascal. I will grant you the privilege of, uh, of conversing with him. Thank you, your ladyship. I noticed uh, that you chose to have him uh, by your side during the ceremony, and I would be honored to meet such a highly placed member in the Adeptus Mechanic of the Adeptus Mechanicus. For although Hausgeprak does indeed follow the Omnissiah, uh, we are but lay people, and uh, we are not permitted to converse with such high enlightened servants of the machine god. Your gracious uh, ascent uh, fills my heart with joy. Tell me about your family. We Geprax originate uh, from the Calixic sector, from the cluster of planets known as uh, Lathe uh, words. I don't know how to pronounce that. We worked faithfully for, uh, for the good of our masters there. The Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus, and though uh, through through our service we gained a spark of the Omnissiah's knowledge, then uh, fate tied us uh, through the bonds of uh, fealty to the vener venerable uh, Von Valencia's dynasty, and we found ourselves in the Coronus Expanse. Generation after generation, we fulfilled our duty faultlessly until Kiyavagama destroyed uh, and uh, disgraced our name. Sorry, I got some destruction here. 
uh, I was delighted to see one of the Omnisaius priests placed beside you in uh, these trying times. The entire sector needs to stand together, united into the mechani- into the mecha- into one mechanism. The Adeptus Mechanicus will help us to do just that. No, okay. Let's do it. Let's go with that. I swear to, on the Omnisaya's all encompassing insight, we will make every effort to justify the cost of its insurrection with its resurrection. It was only a year ago that none could uh, doubt House Caprak's usefulness. Yet here you are, Toriana, on your knees justifying the cost. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, you're here. <laughs> I am a servant uh, of the Van Valencia's dynasty. Had I not come, I would have committed an act of unacceptable insolence and damaged my family's honor. And yeah. What is you so displeased, Macarius? I am your dynasty's loyal servant, but you have asked, uh, and I will answer. Too long has the Kronos expense lived under the rule of the rogue traders. The privileges granted to them make, uh, make people think that commoners too can dismiss the prohibitions of the Imperium. For the good of the sector, rogue traders must become paragons of the law, not exceptions to it. But do many warrant holders exhibit lawful conduct? No, they do not. Even you, your ladyship, are the subject of the strangest of rumors, and uh, you have recently inherited your protectorate. Current Voigtbeard's people, for instance, uh, claim that you had a hand in the esteemed Theodora's demise, uh, and accuse you of many other misdeeds. It doesn't uh, matter whether or not uh, their claims are true. The people hear them, believe them, and think they may follow your example. Yeah, fuck that. As you command your leadership, I am not repeating the words of another, merely informing you that uh, they are being spoken, but your behest will be carried uh, out. Okay. Tell me now, tell me more about how's uh, Sarbeck. The Sarbeck line was one of the first noble houses to arrive in the Kronos expanse for millennia. We have served the Golden Throne and kept the faithful. Uh, Sarbeck warriors have bled in hundred uh, wars and uh, at different uh, times uh, have ruled a great many colonies of the Von Valencius dynasty. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it is an honor to be in your company, your ladyship. This one is just an asshole. And I have 100% on it. Yeah, fuck it. No, okay. The third one is just asshole. Also, I could do it probably. Huh? Yeah, let's go with that. I wouldn't dream of claiming... Uh, to bear any resemblance to a great saint. I lack her virtue. Hmm. Yeah, pleasure is mine. You flatter me, your ladyship. 
but I cannot say that uh, it is not to my liking. I hope this won't uh, uh, be the end of our acquaintance. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I wrote you from time to time, would you, your ladyship? Now, let's try to be friendly. <laughs> He's very, very happy. I, I'm friendly with her, but not with him. Uh, yeah, I promise to do that. I daren't count on such uh, generous courtesy, your ladyship. A high honor for House Sarbeck. <laughs> I see. Interesting conversation. It's been very illuminating, uh, given me plenty of food of, uh, for thought. Uh, we need to talk, Claire, immediately. Something wrong? Not here. Let's go elsewhere. It won't take long. Okay. To my room, I see. Mm hmm. We don't have much time, Claire. I thought uh, that I brought you here away from prying eyes because I have something very important to tell you. Oh, what has so alarmed you? I am trying to choose the right words for what I intended to say to you. Give me a second. Listen to me. Tonight, something very important is going to happen. Steal yourself and be prepared. Do not do anything foolish. I beg you, bear in mind that you are not being threatened with anything right now. Remember that. I give you my word. You're scaring me. No, don't be afraid. Fear is your worst ally. Uh, you will be fine. Then prepared for, for what? I swear on the golden throne and all that is holy clear, I cannot reveal anything without countervailing uh, prohibitions and vows that are far more important than you or I. There are lines I cannot cross. And yet, despite all that, I knew I had to give you a fair warning. If you can call it that, let me, cha let me charge... Uh, Sorry, let them charge me with whatever they want later. I had to make you aware that there is no genuine threat to your life because... Uh... No, I'm not kissing him because I'm not doing the... Romance. Hmm. I don't know. I hope this doesn't lead to the romance anyway, because I wanted to not do that. Ah, let's go with this. Thank you, Claire. You should go back. The rogue trader's uh, absence will not go unnoticed. Until next time. Okay. Interesting. I, I believe it's going to be something related to uh, the Lord Inquisitor, but I guess we'll see about that. We got Hidir here, with, who I suppose is not going to have that much of a conversation. Yeah, exactly. And Argenta as well. Jay? Nope. Uh, 
I believe it's time to talk to the Master of Ceremonies. I hope your leadership is pleased and uh, not yet tired. If you wish to revive yourself a little, I would suggest proceeding to the courtyard. Uh, if I may be so bold, uh, many guests uh, have chosen uh, to move into the fresh air and will be eager to offer you their congratulations. What do you think of the reception? It is magnificent, I dare say. Uh, it will live on as the premier uh, high society event uh, of the sector for many years. Okay. Can I do something else? We've talking, uh, I mean, spoken with them already. I don't think I can do anything else. So I'll try and save and uh, go to my quarters. Please allow me to escort you, your ladyship. <clears throat> your chambers are ready, your ladyship. I will not read all of these texts because they are fast as hell. Ah, yeah, the Inquisitor. Guards, inter... Quiet, time to sleep. We need to talk to this in private. Von Valencius. Okay. <sighs> okay. I sure who's this one? Never seen her before. Will my servant live? Probably. Unless he suffered from hidden ailments, he will soon come to without any major damage to his health. Either way, oblivion is a far safer option for him than the dangerous privilege of being a witness to this conversation. Okay. I get it. I know. Okay. No, I'm not doing this. I, there's no need. Now let's uh, go very smooth and tell them, uh, tell them that I'm happy to help. A commendable openness to cooperation. It will be taken into account. Master Van Kellox has spent enough time with you. He will vouch for your words. Mm -hmm. What stands out from your recent accomplishments is the suppression of a rebellion on Janus, the battle against the arch enemy's minions on Kiava Gamma, and, of course, the unusual interest the Drakari have shown in you. Then that is what we will discuss. Mm hmm. <sighs> this feels an awful lot like an interrogation. Does it? We're in your chambers, not a confessional cell. You have perfectly good health, and none of the varied and fascinating instruments and procedures that expedite candor are being applied to you. I assure you. You would immediately know if our discussion turned into an interrogation. Ah, uh, okay, okay. What do you wish to know about Janus? Oh, I know it already. Even though you were quite effective at removing all evidence that could point to the blunder made by House von Valancius, it is saddening to realize that the rogue trader's connivance allowed a heretic who had been fostering a cult for years to come to power. <sighs> yeah. 
As my colleagues like to say, innocence proves nothing. You have inherited not just Theodora's glory and wealth, but her mistakes as well. Fuck that. I didn't even like Theodora. Uh, Jenna says pure once more. You can see for yourself. Surely you're not trying to appease a member of the Inquisition with a bribe? Mm, no, that's not what I was trying to. Part. Fuck, okay. Uh, I'll ask that, but it's not important. You thought the Inquisition was unaware of the I mean, it's clear. Your deeds. How often do you find yourself thinking that there are things we shouldn't know about your life? It is my job to know everything, and I do it very well. Keep that in mind. Okay, then if you knew, why didn't you do anything? I cannot satisfy your curiosity without disclosing information of the utmost secrecy. I will say only this. We had the situation under control. There is a tangled knot of perilous events in progress in the Coronas Expanse. Plucking even one thread must be performed with great precision and caution without any room for error. Okay. Because you do not want to know the price of such an error or what forms it might take. <sighs> mm, tell me, what do you want to know about Kavagama? Places touched by chaos must be purged with fire and condemned to oblivion. Kiava Gamma should have been bombed to dust and pronounced a forbidden world. However, you decided otherwise and restored the colony's operation. And you didn't even go to the trouble of hiding the traces of the neglect committed by your dynasty. After all, it was House von Valencius that gave Cubis Delphin so much freedom that he sank into seditious heresy. What was your rationale? Yeah, that's true. Your protectorate is a living body, and you have left in it a splinter that might eventually fester. Consider the scale of amputations that could come of it. I hope you realize that we're talking about more than the fate of some colony. I care not for a single planet, however profitable and populous. But should corruption raise its head again on Kiava Gamma and try to spread, I will burn it away. And you, you will be guilty of criminal negligence. <sighs> yeah, no, of course. Yes, yes, the enmity between you is a known fact. But there is another way to look at it. On Veobos 6, you met the Archon of a mighty cabal whose presence there seems strange to begin with and lived. You subsequently encountered a number of her closest henchmen. Yet, again, you survived. Your capital fell victim to a nefarious attack. But even this time, their daggers missed your heart. Okay, and? Such remarkable luck. To be a personal enemy of such an influential Xenos. To have been attacked so many times and yet make it out alive. So remarkable that one has to wonder, am I watching a spectacle? Could all these thrilling massacres be an alibi of sorts? Meant to establish you once and for all as an enemy of the Xenos and never their ally or even their agent. <laughs> Xenos made more attempts on St. Teresa's life than mine. Does that make him a traitor too? <laughs> So, you already think you're cut from the same cloth as St. Drusus, do you? Ambitious? I'll make note of it. Is that enough? Far from it, my dear. Of course. The questions are manifold. How did you manage to survive the battle that claimed the life of Theodora, who was so much more experienced and skilled than you? Is it a coincidence that you and you alone then made it out of the trap on Rykad Minoris? 
How much truth is there in the rumors being spread by the heretic Kunrad Voitvier about you? Fuck that guy. Why did you choose to ignore the warning of a member of the Inquisition that a protracted sojourn near the dying Rykad Minoris could bring corruption down upon your ship? Were you driven by your concern for the people or forbidden interest? <laughs> The very existence of these questions would have made many of my colleagues doubt the quality of your character. But it won't in this case. Okay. Your transgressions are sufficient grounds to bring you before the Inquisition's judgment. And believe me when I say that if you fail to draw certain conclusions from my words, this is what will eventually happen. But for now, I am willing to show leniency. Which is rather uncharacteristic of me. Mm, yeah, I can. I hope you appreciate yes. the generosity of this offer, as your predecessor once did. Theodora cooperated with you and benefited greatly from it. The world's power is not without limit, and neither is the protection it provides. All those mysterious expeditions, dubious experiments, collections of Xenotech oddities are dangerous pastimes. It takes more than the Emperor's permission to pursue them without consequences. One must also make sure I am not displeased by it. Mm -hmm. Let me demonstrate how it works. In your retinue, there is a Psycho who is yet to receive terrorist sanction, which, as we both know, is a grave threat and a blasphemy to the laws of the Imperium. I am aware of this secret, but I'm not displeased in the slightest. And so she lives on. Your handy psyker, Idira Tlas. Um, okay. Mm, yeah. This one is not dubbed, okay. I cannot deny the possibility that Lady Theodora may have lamented losing uh, some of the freedom she enjoyed prior to my arrival in the Expanse, nor will I deny that our partnership began with me exerting uh, a certain amount of influence. However, you are not Lady Theodora. Let us not put the difficulties that encumbered our relationship to rest along with her. Now let us put none. Uh, I do not recommend troubling yourself with affairs uh, of the past, for they have no bearing uh, on your present position. Theodora chose to forget uh, about this uh, particular matter, for uh, follow her example, and your fate will be better for it. Okay, why is so much interest in one person, in my person? I've been in a position of power for long. And so, one can forgive you for not noticing the troubling changes. The cult of the Final Dawn is spreading in the Coronas Expanse. Not the first or the last heresy that has afflicted this sector, but one that is surprisingly resilient. Mysterious convoys are sliding by, bound for systems in the heathen stars. Just your humdrum pirate trade, wouldn't you say? Then why are the pirates themselves clueless? Mm. The Xenos, who have caused trouble in the sector before, have expanded their activities in the last few decades, and there is a logic and a method to their previously chaotic raids. Even two packs of Space Wolves, blessed Space Marines summoned in my name, did not cool their interest in the Expanse. Interesting. A mighty explorative fleet, which has studied the Expanse for hundreds of years, has suddenly stopped responding to communication and sunk into a dispute over a tech heresy that was considered dead a couple of centuries ago. House Chorda has oh, Chorda, not Chorda, okay. Yet its acts of brutality breed troublemakers just as quickly as they're executed, and this bloody carousel has consumed the attention of the esteemed incendia. Corligos Winterscale has abruptly lost all interest in his domain. And his only apparent concern now is hunting even more dangerous Xeno beasts. Hmm. And the third and final rogue trader has unexpectedly perished, stabbed in the back by her own master of whispers. 
The Expanse is swiftly losing its protectors right when communication with the Imperium is being disrupted by the raging warp. Basically, all the Expanse has left is me and you, if you follow my instructions. I'd like me to what hand? And before what tribunal do you intend to challenge my authority? If, for the security of these territories, I find it necessary to execute any individual and replace them with a puppet counterpart, turn their realm to ash, and put their servants to death, I have the right to do so. The threats I protect the Expanse against are extraordinary and justify the harshest means. Welcome to my world, where going too far simply doesn't exist. Okay. Is Andrex saying? I mean, I guess so, but... Which would you prefer? And you, Hainrex, do you wish to continue working at the Honorable Rogue Trader's side? I will comply with any order, Lord Inquisitor. If you command me to remain in the company of the scion of the Fon Falancius dynasty, I won't be distressed. I hope he doesn't um, get angry about this. Without a doubt, Master Van Kellox has earned my complete trust by repeatedly demonstrating courage, loyalty, and cunning. His mathematical mind, not given to sentiment, can be of great use in an emergency. You, my dear Heinrix, have made a far better agent than you would have a pilot of an Imperial Knight. <laughs> I want Rex to continue accompanying me. Then Master Van Kellox will remain in place. It puts me at ease to know that there is someone to watch over you. I consider it an honor to accompany you. Good. What kind of deal are we talking about? I make no deals, and Emperor forbid that I give you orders. That would mean infringing on your privileges. I'm merely offering well-meaning recommendations and expecting that when the Expanse finds itself in danger, you will break away from your own affairs to heed them. Yeah, sure. Please accept this gift as a sign of my favor. In an hour of need, give it to any faithful servant of the Emperor, and the Inquisition will come to your aid. Okay. I don't know, it feels like a double-edged sword here. Indicates how close the bearer is to the Lord Inquisitor. White is beautiful, yet vulnerable. It stains as easily as one can lose the Inquisition's trust. Do all you can to preserve it. Uh, ha, ha, nice. Anyway. Plus 15 persuasion. Nice. Inquisitor's command. What does it do? 20, mo 20 momentum. Uh, uh. Okay. It's probably good for Calcio then. Let's go with this and uh, then we have reached a consensus and I am as I said I don't want to be hostile to them here is where we part my shuttle is waiting it is time for me to return to my watch for you to sleep and for your servant to wake up until next we meet okay I hope I don't meet you anytime soon okay I assume you now understand uh, what I was warning you about. I pray to the throne uh, that you also understand why I was uh, unable to tell you everything.
Yeah, that's... I mean... Yeah. You've had a difficult day, Claire. It will, uh, I will uh, leave you to sleep. Uh, your protectorate uh, and your vassals uh, will be waiting for you tomorrow. Good night, Claire. Good night, Hendrix. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was uh, certainly... Uh, here we go, we complete the next two. The rise of the rogue trader air restored a tenuous equilibrium to the Fon Valencius Protectorate. Subsided, activity returned to trade routes, and reclaimed worlds began to heal. Subjects praised the God Emperor and their leader wholeheartedly. For none knew what fate might await them. What's going on? Those were Drakari ships on the screen, I think. And uh, not screen, the map. I think it's a map. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you for your report, High Factotum. Uh, your work is highly appreci appreciated by uh, both by everyone here and the Adaptus Administratum. Your leadership, uh, we are almost done here. We just need uh, to go over the final items uh, on today's agenda that uh, I would like to report to you personally. Yeah. I will strive my best to live up to your expectation, your leadership. Allow me to pass on gifts uh, from your loyal subjects. The high nobility of Dargonas, it, it goes without saying that every living soul in your protectorate is blessed to serve uh, your, uh, your leadership faithfully and wholeheartedly. However, this humble gesture is meant uh, as a token of deepest appreciation uh, uh, of your magnanimity towards the esteemed, uh, their esteemed families. Okay. Stop. House Bazarian made an arrangement uh, for the delivery of several tons uh, of uh, supplies uh, for your future journeys. Uh, the house is also transferring uh, a regiment uh, of its finest uh, into your personal charge. Each of these brave troopers uh, has undergone rigorous voidfarer training uh, and will be humbled to lay down uh, their life for you, Lord Captain. Please, command them as you see fit. People, uniform, here. Okay, okay. Other stuff. How Sarbeck uh, has arranged uh, for several arrangements uh, of expertly trained uh, uh, servants of the Emperor to be transferred to your personal command. Each of them will also serve as an honor guard for the holy relics uh, that uh, are to find the rightful, uh, the rightful place in the hold of your personal void ship. Something wrong? Um, no, not at all, Your Ladyship. Uh, the people uh, and the cargo have indeed reached uh, the port services, uh, so there is no reason to doubt uh, the sincerity of the house's intention. It's just 
Some substantial and valuable gifts uh, coming from Lord Sarbeck. Uh, uh, if I am to venture, I guess, your ladyship, uh, I believe uh, the esteemed uh, Chancellor was uh, staggered by such an irregular display of generosity from a man uh, who is rather known for voicing his uh, doubts uh, in road traders as a class. Uh, it would uh, seem uh, you have uh, made quite an impression on Macarius, the old master. Uh, sorry, the old miser. Lord Captain, uh, news of particular import uh, have, uh, has come uh, from the House's Intelligence Network. Uh, the Lord Inquisitor uh, Kalkazar is rumored uh, to be planning a visit on footfall. A number of uh, Imperial Navy ships uh, were commandeered uh, by Lord Kalkazar and uh, are also being scrambled uh, to footfall. Uh, Furthermore, we have received reports claiming that secret messages uh, were delivered uh, to the capital worlds uh, of House Chorda and, and Winterscale. It is possible that the Lord, uh, the Lord Inquisitor's uh, call to arms uh, may smother the conflict that is uh, brewing between the two di dynasties. We are seeing uh, an increasing number of skirmishes between their ships and neutral systems. Uh, I do not doubt that her ladyship uh, Chorda will attempt to sway the Lord Inquisitor to her side, especially since his, lady, sorry, his lordship uh, Winterscale's luck uh, seems to be running out. The riots have been uh, sorry, have uh, broken out on several of his worlds, and yet he has shown no intention of uh, calling them. Instead, the Lord Trader, uh, Drogue Trader, uh, inflicted brutal punishment upon uh, one of his uh, oldest uh, colonies, Vesuvia uh, Secundus, uh, based on uh, allegations of sedition, seditious uh, sentiment. Oddly enough, our agents uh, were unable to find any proof of sedition among the populace there. Uh, as soon as we have any updates, uh, you will be the first to know your leadership. Lastly, your pet, Sinus, Yernlet, I believe, uh, is seeking a meeting uh, with you. She had the audacity to defile the, lo the rogue trader's palace uh, with her profane presence and refuses to leave until she has spoken with you. I would never presume to be able to read the emotions of a Sinus, uh, but the Eldari appeared perturbed. I believe she mentioned a void ship of some sort. It may be best uh, if she, uh, she told you everything directly. And with that, uh, please allow me and Master Danrock to take our leave. Perhaps uh, that last request will serve as welcome distraction. Indeed, your ladyship's uh, stay on Dorgonus has been rather long. However, your protectorate is now enjoying a period of uh, relative stability that, for the time being, uh, no longer demands your ladyship's personal involvement in its affairs. Glory to the rogue trader. Okay. So, that's done. We received a bunch of stuff to trade with. I'm gonna guess that there's like nothing interesting here now. What's that? I just remember that uh, there. Oh, well, well, okay, let's go back. Let's talk to Yerna and see what she wants. Oh, she, there she is. Antelok. Uh, at last, uh, you have left your honored cage. For many turns, uh, for many a turn, uh, I have sought to meet you, and yet your servant, uh, the one who is like uh, the silver-haired Abelard, but twice as young, has no favor for the requests uh, of the child of Azurian. Take me to the palace. Uh, uh, take me to a place where the hearing of others uh, will not steal the word the worlds uh, intended for you. Okay. While you are, uh, while you were mending uh, the wounds uh, of this world left by the twisted ones' attacks, 
uh, I was able to discover no, not Kruderak's fate, merely traces of it. Uh, Moran found the sanctuary under the boat, the bones of uh, the Lilithian's forest, so did my other kin uh, find refuge in a system known as the Atlas Reach. We must make a journey there with haste before new dangers destroy the witnesses uh, who can show me a way uh, to the lost Kruderak. Some fate remains shrouded by the stars. So, uh, whose fate remains uh, shrouded by the stars? Why did I read uh, some? Whatever. Their knowledge is the sole thread that may lead me to the truth and talk. I ask that you, uh, that I ask that uh, your metal winged ship take me along uh, that thread uh, before it tears under the strain of time and circumstances. How were you able to turn out to contact those Eldari? No, I, I did not contact contact the Azorian. I have no means to do so, but. Uh, I had enough time to explore the stone jungle of your world while you were pre preoccupied uh, with uh, your urgent matters. The path of the outcast has taught me to observe and listen to the world around me. In this case, the throngs of Monkai at the port, errant conversations, uh, rumors, uh, chance world, uh, words, like parts of a speckled mosaic, they came together to form a hazy image. My kin uh, were seen, uh, seen in the Atlas Reach, and now all we have to do is uh, pull uh, at the web connections uh, and uh, possibilities to uncover whatever concealed, uh, whatever is concealed from unseen, uh, unseeing eye. Uh, yeah, I will. You will. Thank you, Antalak. If this path indeed takes me to the truth, I will be indebted to you. A rare uh, happening between our kinds. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, we can complete something there, okay. Plus three, two, okay, good. Come on. Okay, that's just there. Mm -hmm. We will go there soon. Okay, that's it for the time being, and we have uh, tons of things to do in the system. So let's level up. Let's go with the uh, I mean uh, perception. I mean, why would I do this? And uh, lower in no lower sinus, but technically I'm the I'm the best at that. But uh, well, whatever. And I guess you get Lord Cetus as well. Man, I care like nothing about the era, if I have to be honest. Uh, awareness. I don't know. Intelligence, I guess. 
I'm learned. Strength. And, uh, uh Where's athletics here? Yeah, I guess so if I can't do that, uh, yeah. And uh, your best thing is Lord Imperium, man. Okay, Lord, your Lord Imperium is amazing. Okay. I guess weapon skill. So that she can defend herself in uh, melee range. I can't do demolition. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go with awareness. Pascal. Can't go with weapon skill. Let's go with intelligence. That's for his uh, stuff. Can't do attack use. Guess I go with logic, even though it's not that useful. Can't do persuasion, sadly, but we can do commerce. Even though Jay's matter, but eh, yeah, whatever. Uh, was it reduced uh, dark visionary hood? Not remember. But I mean, ah, yeah, no, I remember. Okay, I remember. I don't know. Intelligence. What does it give her again? And at last... Uh, oh, you only get one thing, okay. Get your Los Lorcinas, I guess. Oh no, wait, athletic. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Whatever. Not a very important level. At least not now. Let's try quickly talking to the others and then we can head to the ship. I think these dialogues are going to be very useless, but... Nothing? Do you have anything to say? No. Nor do you. Yes, 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 your ladyship. Uh, a peculiar thing. Whoop. Interesting. Ah. Hi, Cassia. Well, that's not really my taste, but uh, I'll take the compliment. 
no one else. Okay, let's leave the palace. I mean, I guess we just have to get to the ship because before we can uh, move uh, things in and out of the cargo. But I don't know why there's uh, this uh, weird thing. Uh, we just spoke to Irlet. I don't think it's that uh, important, but it's not going to take long. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's the usual dialogue. Let's just leave. To the flagship. I probably have some dialogue now. Or at least that's my expectation. Oh really? Uh, first and foremost, uh, let me go and uh, go to the bridge. If there's anything I can or need to do. Captain. Okay. Let me preempt your question. You want to talk about what happened after the Magna Excessia? <sighs> you warned me I was prepared. I'm glad that I... that my... I'm glad I was able to help. Hmm. If that is all. Yeah. Let me be frank. You are remarkable. Unique. Not only by virtue of your special position, but by virtue of... I am grateful to the God Emperor that my duty to him has brought me into your retinue. And that I have had the chance to be near you. Believe me, despite the particular role I must play here, I do sincerely want to spare you any unnecessary distress. Yeah, okay, he's in love. I hope my answer has not hurt you. Now, with your permission, we will return to safer topics. <sighs> no, okay, let's go. Uh... Okay. I think uh, uh, we need to level up the Cosmolica. I don't know if we can do like much. Uh, we can trade these. Nah, not yet. Damn it. Oh, sorry. All right, we had the ring uh, to give to. Uh, what's this again? Oh, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, Cassio. Oh, yeah, I can do this. It's better, probably. Anything to say, Jay? You are spoiling me. Because... Nope. Sorry. Uh, I think it's safe to guess that no one has anything to say to me. Let me see if the Voxmaster has any news for me. No. Okay. So I was too worried uh, that, you know, the change in uh, act would bring some change to the characters, but not yet. Not yet, at least. 
I have faith in these developers. Uh, colonies, real quick. Uh, this is over. Can't do that yet. Goddamn. Same here. That's done. And Kavagama is still uh, working. Okay, now... Um, hmm. Not much new, to be honest. Which is a nice way to say that there is nothing new here. Uh, rumors. Damn it, so I didn't find that. I didn't notice. Uh, where is it though? I don't remember. Nothing, uh... Okay. Let me see real quick if we know anything yet. Okay, so... 100 dream, Dreams uh, Crossroads or the Grand's Belt. That's the Grand's Belt. Well, that's close and uh, safe, so... Uh-huh. Oh, God. What's going on? Who wants to talk to me now? I have to build a squad for this? Okay. And I need her uh, earlet. Okay, okay. Um, let's go with that. I don't know. And look, I finally found uh, uh, you in uh, this dwelling. This symbol has many meanings. Humility, grief, loss, shame, regret. I hope you will accept them all because I am sorry for what happened to your world, to your subjects, to your palace, and uh, for what my kin did to them. Your kin? You have never referred to the Nurkari as such before. We came from the same source, Handelok. We share the same blood, even though the Drukari's blood is distorted and their cells empty. It is a fact that cannot uh, simply be brushed aside. Uh, why apologizing? It's not your fault. My words will not heal the wounds nor bring back the fallen. 
and uh, will not restore your protectorate. However, I'll wait. Look and look. Uh, the gaze uh, of a child of a Syrian can penetrate deeper than any, sorry, than a monk eyes. And uh, I can see all the heaviness that has accumulated in your soul during our travels. I see it in your gestures, in the tilt of your head, in the change uh, in your scent. If you allow me, I will help you to cast off this burden and cleanse your soul and mind of worry. How exactly are you going to help me? It is difficult to describe and luck, but your soul shines bright and your mind is strong enough for you to be able to immerse yourself in your own mind and cleanse and cleanse it of unnecessary cares. I'm still not sure that your species is capable of such a thing, but it is worth a try. If nothing comes out of it, then the only thing you will lose is a small fraction of your time. And I will be your guide in this journey. I will help you to enter the meditative state and get to know yourself. Of course, that is, if you let me, immersing yourself in your soul is a deeply intimate process, but uh, you will not be able to do it without me. And, uh, and I promise you, and the luck, that I will not judge you. You your world uh, or anything that takes place inside it we will only see what you want to see <sighs> yeah you are curious aren't you meditation is not a tool for achieving uh, lovely goals it is a, a healing spring uh, for the soul And just admit it. You are like a snake calling around my body, twisting tighter with every word and luck. It is hard as well, uh, to breathe when I am near you. You are tired of fighting the raging uh, waters of your life, and so I am uh, holding out my hand to you. Uh, the choice to grab uh, or fight uh, alone is yours to make. Make uh, So make it. Is it painful? No, Antelok, there is no physical pain, but uh, you will be able to see your inner pain if it is bleeding uh, in your soul. Is the, is the same meditation? Yes, so. Very well, show me my inner world. Then we need to find a suitable place, somewhere quiet and serene. I should have guessed. Let go of everything and like doubts, fears, emotion, cast off the weight of your world. Clean your mind. Oh, God damn it. Uh, good. Now try to look inside your soul, look at it shining timidly, and uh, dive in. Okay. Let's dive. My bad. I know it looks super cringe. I shouldn't be doing things out of character. That was very out of character. We did it, Antelok. So far your world resembles the, the real one, but soon you will learn to go deeper. Remember that everyone here is just a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and desires. That... <sighs> oh, that's... Uh... Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid to look them in the eye. Okay. Look, I even have my servos call. Let us not dawdle. Keep your wits about you. Hmm? Everything you know has... Everything you know 
now have was served to you in a silver platter, but do you deserve it? Myself? Ah. All sentient beings are afraid of death. You have to accept the fear. You have to accept the fear first before you can get rid of it. Well, okay, I guess. That was very Is quick. Money to be made? I don't think so, Claire. That's myself again. Standing at the helm, peering into the darkness of the cows, once you feel uh, as loading. You feel as lonely among the stars as I do among my own uh, kin. Okay. Stop addressing uh, an acolyte of the only uh, uh, Inquisition uh, as, uh, as you would uh, an admirer at a high society function. You are far too frivolous uh, of a person to lead such an illustrious dynasty. When duty comes close, uh, when duty closes around your heart uh, like an iron trap, would you choose uh, intimacy in captivity, or would you be, uh, or would you break out uh, of the trap and uh, be free, leaving your uh, wings behind? We got rid of a rogue trader, and we got rid of her too. Everyone uh, from the lower decks uh, to the senior officers hate her. Everyone. Uh, uh, I hear the Vox uh, transmissions. Uh, mutiny is brewing. As long as I uh, still can use the, her uh, thrones, I don't care. Once betrayed, it is hard to put one's uh, trust. Uh, uh, in others again, especially those closest uh, and most loyal to you. To us, whatever. I always have a backup plan. Don't expect here let's to become my my psychiatrist, but okay. Of course, uh, I'm with you on. Uh, Of course, I'm with you only because uh, of your throne and your power, Shreen. You didn't hope my feelings were genuine, did you? The fear of being used. We all have it, but uh, the more power we have, uh, sorry, the more we have to give, the stronger it grows. I guess. I always keep my options open. The burden of responsibility lies on your shoulders and luck, and your soul grows dull from weariness, breaks the chains of exhaustion. Yes, these are the chains of exhaustion, and they're gone. There's still someone here I can see. Conrad. Have you already forgotten me, Claire? Oh, don't ever forget me. Uh, not even for a moment, because as soon as you turn away, I will plunge that sh the shard of my sword into your throat. I don't know who this monk guy is, but your memories of them are akin to uh, slimy mud after the rain. Let's wash it away like spring water, shall we? Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Uh, may I believe that? Yeah. We will meet Theodore, and that's exactly what happened. In truth, uh, you believe in nothing at all, Claire. Not the God Emperor, uh, the Arch Enemy, or even people. You barely believe in yourself. I pity you. Well, let's go with Theodora. Oh, and the picture changed again. I am proud of you, Claire. Uh, you have become a worthy successor and perhaps even uh, uh, the best lord captain. Some words uh, you need to hear at least once to believe them. 
putting on airs, Lord Captain. Uh, you are as distant from the common folk as a rusty old footfall is from Tara. No comment on her, you're not. Let us not dawdle. You just got lucky, Monkai, but luck is the only thing you have. You are weak, so prepared to suffer. Only the mad and the foolish never doubt their strength. The wise are so are full of doubt, but they know how to let go of them. Lord Captain, your decision uh, will doom us all. Lonely, uh, sorry. Lonely pirates perish, risking nothing but their own skin. But what of you? You are putting uh, the lives of thousands of crew members in billions, uh, and billions of refractory subjects in danger. Pascal. You need Claire von Valanches' crimes against uh, the secret laws of the Omnissiah have been logged. Retribution is imminent. Always keep your eye on the prize. Uh, Where is the real Pascal here? What is it? Mm. I know how to take risks. That's uh, weird. Uh, I guess I'll take another look around. I always have a plan. Oh yeah. Plan. Um. Do you see yourself now and luck just as uh, radiant as others see you? Uh, I guess. Keep my options open. What is this, Monkai? The... <laughs> Look closely. Come on, why? No, let's not do that. I didn't even think I could do a romance with a Sino, okay? You and your let's stand together in complete silence for a while. Tense and no chord at first, and then soft and enveloping. You feel your let's, uh, your let's sigh ever so slightly. And you hear the sadness uh, uh, hidden in her voice. But she remains silent until the ghostly figures uh, around you start to disappear. It is time to return, Antelak. Your soul is not very. It's not that strong enough to produce. Uh, sorry. To endure prolonged immersion. Take a deep breath and. Uh, okay. Didn't expect that, really. That caught me off guard. But. Uh, as much as I like her, I don't think that's... Yeah, no, not for this character. I am uh, thinking about it. Fuck, okay. I am too curious. I'm sorry, uh, Jay has been fun enough, but uh, I want to see what happens, and uh, probably we'll choose her about uh, what the hell.
okay. Let me save. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Mm -hmm. Please unlock this may be a world, but uh, I do not do that again. Okay, she just wants her to her in any way. I think this might be the best option. I don't want to, you know, go too hard on this. It's so weird. I didn't expect to be able to do that. I mean, also, it's about time we conclude the, the, today's stream. I'm sorry, guys. Uh huh. Claire, you are awake. Your soul shines too radiantly for a human. Despite all the litter that had accumulated in your soul, you can get rid of the, the litter. But the light, try to preserve it, Claire. It draws the, uh, the eye. Uh, like bright stars in the sky, night sky. Of course, your world is not as beautiful and serene as mine, but I was glad to see it. Wow, I feel as if I had been reborn. This is the cleansing of your soul, Antelak. I hope that now you understand the importance of keeping it free from unnecessary litter. Come on, it's uh, no. Okay. Uh, I, will, I will not say that. I think she might get offended. You will help me with meditation. Uh, will you help me with, med with meditation again? I do not know. Perhaps someday? Mm hmm. Yeah. You long for that which human nature desires for, uh, for an intimacy with your own kind. I can understand that. Would I be able to see your world? I do not think so, Antelak. It is impossible to know everything in this world, no matter how much we would like to. And still, my heart sings, for I have helped you uh, find peace, even if only for a short while. Until we meet again, Antelak. May the stars guide us along the safe roads. At she disappeared, okay. Okay, the only thing I want to see is that is if she wants to talk to us about uh, her stuff now. Talk. Yeah, of, of course. Okay, let's go back up because here it's a stupid place to stop, at least in my opinion. And guys, as usual, thank you all for joining me on the, today's stream. And I'll see you tomorrow as we continue our adventure, adventures in the Coronas Expanse. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good one.